So, uh, we're told that these are the three great virtues of a programmer, uh, particularly of a Perl programmer. But I've got a, a bit of a confession. But um, particularly when I'm working on my kind of side Perl project, I don't feel like they best describe me and my behaviour. So, so my confession is, these are... <laughs> And yet, in the last uh, year or so, I've been having more fun and doing more Perl projects, also not getting to more Perl more per projects, since I started playing with Presto. How many people here have actually played with Presto? Oh, very few. Good. Um, well, could you, you said the project too. So, what is Questo? It's basically a theme to do this. You, can, you start quests in one of a number of realms, one of those realms, and the first one is Pearl. Um, when you start a quest, everyone can see your quest and you can comment on it. Um, if they like it, that gives you a plus one. When you complete your quest, you get points. So it's basically a way of gamification <coughs> of your Pearl side projects. Here. And you can see up at the top right there, some names you may recognise, uh, people working on their Pearl projects. So this is my... Oh, shit. Um, it's my uh, list of quests, or the top part of it, um, which is essentially my backlog for uh, my Perl projects. And every time I've got an idea, I throw it on here. And when you throw a quest on, everyone else sees it who's following. And they can encourage you, they can throw uh, crap at you. So I put one saying, hey, I've got this module idea, I've just written the first version, I don't know where it is, and then Barbie said, do it, go look on CPAN, here's the module I wrote. Um, he said it a bit more politely than that. Um, and another one I read someone's blog about a JavaScript library and thought that would be great to do in Perl. Couldn't find it on um, CPAN, but book pointed out that I was just looking in the wrong namespace. Um, and that's the quest for giving me this talk, which I'll be catching in later. Um, so when someone uh, starts a new quest and you see it on the feed, you can click in and basically comment. So it's a bit like a Facebook feed for their quest. Um, so this one was Toby saying that he wants to get onto this <laughs> list which I've never heard of and now I've got addicted to this uh, list. Fortunately he didn't have to kill anyone to get uh, into the top five. Um, you can team up on quests, so you can invite other people. Other people can just join in and add comments, etc. So I started this quest to, make, uh, to submit pull requests or bug reports for a 1% of CPAN to fix something up. And some Russian guy uh, joined in, Sergei Romanov. And so between us, for over four months, this was sort of, I'd do one pull request a day, and every now and then I might do a bit more. Um, so I've got a number of trickle projects like this, and I've been doing more of those kind of things since I started using Presto. It also has a library of standard quests, which are called stencils, which are, if you don't know what to do, go and have a look at this library. There's about 35 or 40 of them. Um, and you can just go and pick them, get, they have a different number of points and other people can add to your points. <coughs> you can clone someone else's quest as well, if you see someone doing something, that's a good idea, I'll do that for my modules, to fix all the bugs on my modules. You can go and clone their quest as well. Um, so, your first quest then is to go and sign up for quest then. that's the URL at the bottom. Go and browse the open quests, plus one a few. Uh, have a look at the stencils, maybe try a few, comment on my most recent quest. One minute! Bad audience! <laughs> One minute! Bad audience! No, <laughs> so, um, Andreas Koenig and I were discussing something earlier, so I just added a quest um, earlier, so you can go and add some comments on that. Uh, quest of, I've got nothing to do with it other than being a, a happy user. It was written by, if anyone here can pronounce Russian names, it's this dude. Who um, <laughs> also know this Jimmy Cleric? Last time I tried to pronounce his name, I completely mangled it and he told me so. Richard Slack, my Yes, I think it's very good.